channel, we go one step beyond with Batman Beyond versus Justice Lord Superman. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another DC McFarlane Toys unboxing and review and today we go beyond with Batman Beyond and Justice Lord Superman but for all your Superman Batman McFarlane toy needs make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free and batman beyond of course i know that is the cartoon from i guess back in the day at this point i guess yesterday was back in the day to some uh, a cartoon i'd seen but really didn't do anything for me for whatever reason uh, you like what you like you don't what you don't it didn't really knock my socks off same thing with this pack here i like this pack from a distance don't know anything about these characters here this version of batman and superman but I always did like this pack. I said, man, this looks really cool. It looks really, really different. But for $40, I said, I just can't do this. So I did pass on this. I saw it a couple of times in my local Target stores. You guys probably saw that in my Friday figure hunt videos. But it just wasn't for me, so it was an easy pass. However, one day, though, I'm on Amazon, and they had a big McFarlane flash sale where I grabbed a few McFarlane things over the last week. And this guy was $18 and change shipped from Amazon. I said, 18 and change for two McFarland figures. Two ones that intrigued me that I don't really know about. I'm picking it up and I'm going to learn right here at the table today. So that's kind of where I said and that's where we are here at this very table today. And of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see Batman Beyond and Justice Lord Superman from Batman Beyond 2.0. Sure. Uh, big bubble window on the front there. If you need an autograph, you got all plenty of room for these guys to autograph it. Of course, 12 and up. Once again, 11-year-olds. I'm sick of saying it. I say it in all these. Start listening. Get out. Get out of here, you 11-year-olds and under. Uh, DC Multiverse. Got their names on the bottom as well. Cross, cross sell over on the side there saying who's in this pack. Batman Beyond vs. Lord Justice. And then on the back, little glamour shots of some artworks, comic book art. Have to imagine they're going to use that on the comic or on the uh, trading cards in here. We're going to pull this out of the package now, see what's going on, see what's up with this two pack right here today. Pull that out. Oh my gosh. Todd making me work. Making me work, Todd. Oh my gosh, what do we got going on here? See you later. Put some spin on it. Now we do get this background piece here, so you can have that artwork there. Or you can have a little bit of inside of uh, the Batcave, I guess, is what that looks like. So we do get that. Choose your own art adventure here. So we do get some of that, a little of this, a little of that. There they are in the package here, looking interesting for sure. Got them locked up in there. And then we got this going on. So we got a lot going on right here. But I'm going to take this offline. We need to get all these out, all these twist ties, Todd. We get these two stands and the cards out. We'll be back talking all things Superman. And Batman. All right, we take one step beyond once again as I got everything out of the package. Ungodly amount of twist ties. You, Todd McFarlane, on the couch should be ashamed of yourself for all this work. It took me like five minutes to get everything out of this package, and I even cut my finger a little bit. Luckily, no blood, Todd, or else there'd be an HR call. Uh, but luckily, no blood. But I did cut my finger. Can you believe that? Too bad it wasn't on camera. You could have seen me explode. But not the case here today. But we do got a little see you later action. See you later, there it goes. See you later, there it goes. And see you later, there it goes. A four see you later video right there. How about that? But we do get, of course, as we usually see with a lot of these two packs from McFarland Toys, you get a little stand here, a little pro tip stand. Now it's got some bat cave going on here, a little bit of technology, some steps down. Not sure if this is really supposed to represent anything extra special, but it is a little throw in piece here. I could really take it or leave it. I'm here about these stands here is what I do prefer, but it is nice. I could put these guys on here and we've got a few McFarlane figures that didn't come with stands over the years. I could use some of these as extras and we've broken a couple on the channel too, Todd. Uh, but we do have these, so I do like that. We've seen these DC McFarlane stands before. We'll see it again. We know how that goes here. But it is nice if this is your kind of thing. So uh, if you're here for it, there it is. Now, I guess we'll do Superman first, I guess, is what we're going to end up doing here. And I guess we'll read his card. Let's see what old Justice Lord Superman is up to here. Kal-El, Clark Kent. 
The Justice Lords hail from an alternate universe where the Justice League decided to enforce law and order through any means necessary. Years ago, the Justice League defeated them and Wonder Woman returned to their world with them to make sure they stayed in check. But something went wrong. Oh my gosh. Now Wonder Woman is back in the world of Batman Beyond and Superman Bruce Wayne sense that she's hiding something. As Terry McGinnis takes a dangerous trip to the Justice Lord's world to find out Wonder Woman's secrets and encounters a version of himself whose life in diff a very different path. The Justice Lords return to our Earth in search of Wonder Woman. Okay, well, that's what's going on right there for those keeping track at home. But let's get over to Justice Lord Superman. I guess evil bad guy Superman. I'm here for that. He does got some maniacal, magical hands going on here. So some different hands. And then this Superman, he came to fight. He's got two fists of fury ready to throw down at a moment's notice. He does have that here. Now, I do like Superman, of course. But I like a little evil Superman from time to time. It's a pretty cool thing, I do think. Oh, my gosh. Some of the tightest legs I've ever encountered. Oh, my. Uh, we do got Superman here, all in black, so an interesting one. Now, we've seen this cape before. We saw it in red, I believe, but it's a very whimsical cape. It would, dare I say, make Lando Calrissian blush if he got some movement out of his cape like this. It is soft, pliable plastic, uh, but very interesting. Very white, where we're used to Superman, of course, in red. Black costume on this Superman with the white insignia with a little red background looking very interesting. And then the head sculpt looking dangerous, looking evil, looking like Bruce Campbell out of the Evil Dead. He's got red around his eyes, kind of a peachy skin tone color. And then he's got a little bit of gray going around the back and then right here on the temples. And man, I can relate to that. I got a little gray going on in here. I just, my wife was giving me a hard time about it the other day. Or she said she liked it, but I said, oh my gosh, gray right there. What am I going to do? This hair is going to be like half gray and then half brown. It's going to look ridiculous one of these days i gotta figure it out i gotta figure it out i got probably about five years or so i don't know we'll see what happens but maybe i'll just chop it all off and start over i'm cool if this was a white flowing hair like magneto that would be really cool if i had magneto like hair i'm here for that i just want it to be done if i could just snap my fingers and have this gray and white immediately i would do it i don't care I'd do it, uh, but looking good here. I like this Superman head. I like an evil Superman, like I did say, but black outfit throughout on this guy here. Big old fist of fury. Once again, those huge Superman ham hocks on this one. Uh, he's not messed around in the fist department. He's ready to fist anybody that gets in his way. He'll just fist them all day. Could be dangerous. Could be deadly, really, at the end of the day as well, but his arm does go around. This right arm, of course, blocked by the cape, so you're not going to get all the way around on that one. Bicep cut, double jointed elbows, hands back and forth. Of course, hands going to be removable. Head back and forth, up and down. Very tight joints on the head on this one. His head is very tight. Uh, a hula hoop at the top. Of course, traditional waist. Big old Superman splits if you need them, of course. Leg does go up. Oh, double jointed knees. Very tight. Oh, my. Ankles up and down, really. No real back and forth. A little side to side, of course. Toe articulation like a young Todd McFarlane on the couch for this one as well. But an interesting interpretation of Superman. That's what we're going to call this one right here. Looking very good, though. Looking very cool. Looking very evil. Looking very powerful. Looking very scary at the end of the day is Superman here. But now we turn our attention over to Beyond Batman. It's Batman Beyond 2.0. Real name Terrence Terry McGinnis. Terry McGinnis was just an ordinary teenager until his father was mysteriously killed. Suspecting... Suspecting foul play, Terry meets an older, bitter Bruce Wayne and learns a secret hidden for decades. When Bruce refuses to help, Terry steals and dons a high-tech, tricked-out bat suit in a quest to avenge his father's death as Batman. There you go. Truly a Batman beyond. And once again, we said we'd see it again. Here it is, McFarlane toy stand. Got that going on. A little bit of accessory stuff with him. He's got two trigger hands out of the package for whatever reason. I think I'll be using these hands here. A little bit more mystical, maniacal, cat-like. He's got some claws going on black gloved hands i'll probably use those and we got some fancy batman 2.0 batarangs and uh, these might not be batarangs somebody feel free to fact check this but i believe these are cookies and i believe this terry mcginnis fellow is a avid cookie baker and he's got batman cookies that's what these are really good chocolate batman cookies dark chocolate though not for everybody as we do know but an interesting cookie batch for sure but now we got Batman Beyond here. And I was going to say, this doesn't feel like Bruce Wayne. This feels like a, a little kid or something. It's like Robin Don the costume or something. Very skinny little figure here. Looking very interesting. Once again, like a band overkill. He's got the green and black attack going on. It's all about the green and black here. Feels like Batman, but with a twist is what I would say. Of course, Batman head sculpt there. A little, a little bit of a smile going on with some white teeth, white eyes. Green and black, very thin head. And then you got those big old bat ears pointing towards the sky looking good. 
Then you got the Batman insignia on the chest. Once again, the green and black attack rages on all the way down into the legs, the boots, into the ankles, all that fun stuff. So it is pretty much black on green is what it is, or green on black, I guess, more like it. Big old wings on this one. Very cool once again. It looks like we get a little side to side on the wings via the backpack. Uh, it's not one of those ones where you get the articulated wings that go back and forth. We don't get any of those bells and whistles, unfortunately, here. But these do get the job done, and they seem to stay in very well. So that is nice. Very high, of course. And I think we saw a regular one of these in the red and black attack, if I'm not mistaken, in the past. Uh, I did not pick that one up. Uh, but this one does look fairly good to me as far as things go. The bat wings looking very bat-like, looking very, very nice here. So I got no issues with those at all, looking very good. Just a really good uh, version of Batman Beyond. Uh, you got those forearm guards, of course, typical Batman stuff. Uh, a character I don't know, you really could use a flight stand for this guy too. He would look pretty cool flying over the top. But he does look good. I got no issues with this one at all. Uh, two characters I don't know anything about. Always thought they looked really cool. And I don't know about you guys, but they look a lot cooler at 18 and change than uh, you know $49.99 or $39.99, whatever it was before. So uh, maybe not my Superman, maybe not my Batman, but cool enough for my shelf, especially at a discounted price point. Worth the gamble at that price. Full price. Probably not for me, but for this, I feel like I came out okay around a little less than $10 a figure. Feels pretty good at the end of the day. But what say you guys and gals? Were you into Batman Beyond? There's probably some viewers out there that love some Batman Beyond. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this very YouTube channel. And you get early access to both YouTube channel videos on top of a bunch of other bonus stuff. Thank you guys and gals for all your support. You can also support the channel at PressingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget over at Barnes & Noble for the exclusive hardcover edition, Amazon softcover edition, the complete guide to the Jax Classic Superstars toy line by yours truly. Almost 700 pages of content right here. Very, very cool. Very much a labor of love. Thank you, everybody, for your support. And if you want an autographed copy for whatever reason, head over to, of course, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. Hit me up on the messages, and we can work something out there. So once again, thank you guys and gals for all your support. So there it is, Batman Beyond and a little dark Superman. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.